This is 100% Somali food, Somali shop. And I've been coming here for over 20 years. Oh man, this is awesome. It's my first time here, man. So I'm always yeah. super excited. Let me show you what's happening here. So this place is particularly traditional, like very authentic when we speak. Yeah. Um, Somali cuisine, Somali flavor, East African flavor, so yeah. what that all means. Except this stuff. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, they make a lot of their babies here. You got traditional the ninja. Ninja, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then this is this is like and my favorite. This aisle is, yeah, right this, here. this is the aisle. This, huh? this this is where life happens right here, yeah. right? The spices. A little history I want to hit you with. So Somalia was known as the Cape of Spices, trading spices such as cardamom, yeah. a lot of dry spices, you know, whole nutmegs, yeah, dude. barks of trees, which we call cinnamon sticks these days. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of the basic stuff is always having a whole spice, not having it in, like, in, a, in a powder form. Yeah, yeah. You don't know how long it's been in like your mom's cabinet, you bring it out, and you're like, you, and you, yeah. you can't taste no spice, yeah. just, and it's, it's just, just powder, powder. Yeah. that's it. Once you go that route of toasting your spice, yep. you know, yeah. it changes the way your brain thinks about spices. Absolutely. This is the real stuff. This yeah. is what we hopefully can be using today to toast yep. and make a good uh, uh, marinade from, you know? This is the toasting. This is where yeah. all those spices come to life. So we have our black pepper. Yep. You know, that we start off with coriander. Cinnamon the sticks, cinnamon. Cumin seeds. Yep. Cloves can be super strong. Super strong, exactly. Yeah. So I'll put half of that. Yep. Here are the green cardamom as well, yep. yep. So we can use all of that, matter of okay. fact. So now we just toast that a uh, minute or two just to touch so it. I can hear it. You popping. hear the pop, pop, yep. pop, pop, pop. You see that? Yep. You know, that's what you want. You don't want to burn it, you just yep. want to toast it. Oh man, yeah, there you go. There you go. Boom. And then we'll go just grind that up. Yep. Exactly. There you go. Bam, 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 yeah. There you go. This is our own masala. You can use it on your chicken or your meats or your mm -hmm. rice or your, you know, yeah. any dish that you feel like you want to add a little bit of mm to yeah. it, you know what I mean? So we got the couscous going. Yep. We'll get a roux going. Yep. So we've got like a half a stick of butter here. Half a stick of butter on yep. that. How does this to you define Somali food? What defines it is the spice. And then also with the sauce that we have here, the roux as well. Now my potatoes. And the potato has so much starch, man. That's Absolutely. you know. That's gonna make it nice and thick yeah. and creamy and so Somali is Italian colonized, uh, basically. So we have tons of Italian influence as well. Oh, okay, so cool. So each region makes their own sauces and different ways of making really? the pasta. Seriously, it is mind blowing and it's unbeknownst to many people. Yeah. You know. Because you think Somali, nobody thinks Italy. No, yeah. at all, right? Whoa. Like a potato ch shake. <laughs> we got the roux down, we got the couscous done, we got seasoning and everything here. So what's the next step we're doing? The next step, we're gonna do a beef halang halang. So this okay. is like basically a sauté part of the steak. Now I'm getting the onions and peppers and yep. garlic, everything ready. Everything, yep. I and mean, then that's all gonna go in there. Boom. Get our garlic, yep. get our onions going. Every culture has a thing of yeah. kind of combining onions, peppers, and then, you know, the thing that would make it different is the techniques people use to yeah. season it or to spice it up. If I didn't know that there was, you know, that blend of spices you put in here, yeah. this looks like a stir fry. Basically. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I like. Now we're gonna, we're gonna dress it up. Yeah, a lot of that. Nice and tender and juicy. Brother, this, this is delicious, man. Like, everything just works so well together, dude. And it, it's not something I eat and then it's, I'm gonna feel heavy. It's, yeah, it's yeah. actually really light. So this is one of the many ways Somali food is served. Immigrants don't just bring burden, but they bring great ideas, mm -hmm. food, um, things that make us human, right? I mean, once you learn about food, yeah. right? You'll, you'll learn about the similarities you share with other cultures. Yeah, stuff like this. Is what it, brings us together. Yeah, man. And then like, even like we're going to the market, dude. Yeah. Like I guess said, I walk in there and I'm looking at the spices. I'm yeah. like, no, I know all these yeah. spices. Absolutely, right? We use it differently, yeah. but, I but I know all know. these spices. You're familiar with it. That's the thing that we look to, you know, need to look at, is the things that make us human. 